What's up YouTube and welcome to this computer guide tutorial. In this I'll be showing you how to use a simple NPC and when you walk up to this NPC uh, a sound plays and it lets it talk to the player. It's pretty simple, all you need to do is uh, actually find an NPC. I'm not doing a tutorial on how to make the NPC obviously because this is Unity not Cinema 4D or whatever you use for sculpting. So just find something like a prefab off the internet and you can use it from there. So I've designed my person here, it's pretty simple, but what the hell. So you just drag that into your scene. Now at the moment mine is quite small, so obviously I need to make him bigger. Or even, thinking about the size of my person, I might actually need to make him smaller. So I will just do it now. Yeah, that should do. So here's my pretty crap person but anyway so we need a collision box and I already have one here but to do that you just go to game object create other and cube and then it'll come up but anyway and you just drag this cube to the front of your NPC so I'll just do that now Sometimes designing on Unity can be a bit, you know. What the hell? There we go. That should do. So now you're going to click on your cube here. And it, just in case you don't have one already, where it says Box Collider, you want to go to Component physics and then you're going to go box collider here and that and then you want to select is trigger here and that makes it a trigger so first you're going to want to record a sound which I'm going to quickly do now so I'll skip the video alright so I've recorded it and here it is and so now we're going to create a script where if you collide with this box um, then the sound will play. So you just go to create where it says project and click JavaScript and just call this play sound. Press enter and now you want to open that in Unity's editor or whatever you want to use for your JavaScript editing. So I'll skip this loading. So it's pretty much the same as last time if I'm honest with you, like we did in our link level. It is practically this, except the var is different, and there's just a different line in the on trigger enter. So I'm literally just going to copy that, and you should be able to too. Should be able to too, if you have been following. So just delete this and replace it with this. Where it says level to low, just replace that with uh, sound to play, and change where it says string to audio clip and change where it says application load level or whatever you go to you oh, go to you type audio dot play one shot which means it plays it only one time and then you say what your variable was here so we'll put sound to play close it up and save Okay, now we want to drag our play sound onto the cube, and we want to click our cube. And where it says sound to play, you locate your audio clip, which for me was this MPC1 file here, which we seem to have a problem with, so I'll just sort that out quickly. <coughs> Alright, so I've sorted that out. Turns out I have to re record it again, but hey. So let's have a listen. It's pretty lame, but hey. Our world is in grave danger, and you are the only one who can save us. Well, there you go. Make sure, if it's checked here where it says 3D sound, make sure you uncheck that. Otherwise, it won't sound right. So what you want to do is you want to go to where it says your cube, and you want to change your sound play, obviously, to um, whatever it was. So I saved mine as untitled one, because I couldn't be able to name it, but... And now, we should try that out. 
So now if I walk over to this cube Oh yeah. If there if this comes up where it says this missing component exception, it's pretty easy to sort out. Just drag your untitled one on top of the cube and where it says audio source you want to uncollapse it but make sure you uncheck play on awake otherwise when you um, start the game it will play the sound even though you haven't walked into the box yet so now when you t test it when you walk over to the cube our world is in plays, grave danger plays. and you're the only one who can save us and now you're probably wondering how do I get rid of this um, opaque cube in front of my NPC well that's easy to sort out as well you just go to your cube where it says transparent parent <laughs> where it says shader you click here if it responds there we go go to render FX no I went FX and flare and that makes it completely transparent and it still works so when you walk up to your NPC, our world is in grave like danger. Our world you is in grave danger. And you the only. So that's it for now. If you're wondering why I didn't do the GUI textures or whatever, is that's because that is quite advanced and this is a simple game. So I will get onto that eventually. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.